Hey, Jeannie Lynch coming back to you today. So excited to continue the beautiful intuitive playlist. And I'm also excited to introduce to you some people you might've seen on my channel before. I'm really enjoying doing collaborations. So today, six healers are gonna come in and we're gonna answer some pretty interesting questions regarding this work. One of them is what's showing up in our practice? What seems to be the common theme that we're all seeing out in the world? You're going to hear about that. You're also going to find out what's upsetting us or where do we feel the contrast is? Where is the shadow out in the world? Maybe even our remedies to it. Okay. We're going to share our missions to our practices and then we're going to have a beautiful conversation about this shift. Hmm. First time hearing that word. If you're watching this channel, I doubt that we're going to give from our vantage point what we think the shift is. Are we ahead? Are we behind? So you're going to learn more about that shift coming up. And then the last thing we're going to do, which is the part I'm most excited to share, is we're each going to share our own little inspirational message. And that's all coming up next on my channel. Stay watching. and clicked in Jeannie Lynch I'm going to do a little layup to my beautiful six healers that are coming on we're all just going to share a couple minutes of what we do so you know who is on this video and hopefully you know who I am you're watching my channel this is Jeannie and I my I heal through my words I do it through teaching I do it through inspiring I do it through my YouTube channel um, I've been doing this work for 15 years and I'm going to continue this work really looking to help make this accessible for everybody who's looking to be the better version of themselves. An intuitive reader, life coach, spirit coach, that's what I call myself. Can't wait to share the rest of these healers with you. They're all coming up next. Enjoy. Hello, I am Christine and I am here to answer some beautiful thought-provoking questions from my friend Jeannie. So first, a little bit about myself. My name is Christine and I'm a healer and spiritual teacher and mentor. And uh, what I do for people is that I help pets and their people in their healing journeys. Um, I use energetic modalities like Reiki. I'm an herbalist. And I'm also an intuitive, so I connect with the animals and can communicate with them. And uh, I use those skills to help people along their life path and um, for the beautiful journey that we call life. So um, it's important to me that I utilize my connection with Mother Nature in all the work that I do. So that's why I use energetic modalities and herbs uh, for these uh, clearing and healing sessions um, because, you know, Mother Earth is our first mother. I mean, she's, she's everything. If it wasn't for her, we wouldn't be here. <laughs> she uh, is in charge of the grass that grows and the air we breathe and the water we drink and the foods we eat. And so um, that's why that's really important to me. Hi, I'm Lisa Harriet Karat, and I am an angelic messenger, master energy healer, and alignment and attraction mentor and coach. I am passionate about helping heart-centered women on their healing journeys of becoming into a new phase or new direction in their lives. So for me, healing, mentoring, guiding, and coaching is all about the heart, discovering your heart's deepest desires, allowing yourself to move into that stage of fulfillment and satisfaction, and to be of greater service in the world. I'm in my beautiful friend Jeannie's home, answering some questions about my spiritual practice and the spiritual shifts in the universe today. I am a sound practitioner healer, uh, Reiki 1 and Reiki 2. I have a Goddess Yoga Instructor Certification and I am a meditation facilitator. So really I am creating space to just bring peace, harmony, and love 
into your hearts, into your world, and into our world as a unified space. I do this through crystal bowls and through meditation. A little introduction to who I am. My name is Kitty Musser, and I'm an intuitive numerologist and human design specialist. I actually teach through numbers and looking at your human design chart. I'm able to see the energies that you've brought into a lifetime. I do this work um, via Skype readings or Facebook Messenger. Um, I don't need to personally be there with you. I'm tickled to be in collaboration with all the other healers that are involved with Jeannie and this beautiful practice that she shares so generously with others. Hello, I'm Caroline Crawford. I very recently moved in to the beautiful area of Sarasota in Florida from England. I felt it was very much a calling to come here to expand my audience with my work. I'm a master healer, a teacher, and also a spiritual intuitive and spiritual medium. The mediumship here in Sarasota has been really exceptionally well received, I'm happy to say, and uh, it's reaching so many more people with that energy of healing, of compassion, and helping people to just feel that connection to their true selves and that life does continue once people have left their physical form into the non-physical. I've also felt that this pathway is opening up for me a lot more in America, whether it's because people are a lot more encouraging of this side of my work. The mediumship hasn't always been the major part of my work. It's been more hands-on healing and teaching. I've also been a yoga teacher for over 20 years and I love to teach meditation as well. But the mediumship has really sort of gained and accelerated in that area of my work since being here in Sarasota, I'm happy to say. Hi there, my name is Sienna Weigel. I'm really excited to be doing this collaboration with Jeannie and all the other amazing women that are featured. Um, a brief overview of the work I do, I consider myself an astrologer. I've been practicing astrology for about six years now. It's something I've always been interested in as a little girl. Um, I realized my sun sign was Gemini and I became just in love with looking up horoscopes and all those things and not until you know about six years ago did I really start intensively studying astrology and um, natal charts and history and transits and solar returns to help me along my life path and I really enjoy helping others as well and sharing the knowledge that I have um, about astrology. Um, I also practice synastry, which is putting two charts together, um, two natal charts, and it could be a romantic relationship, um, friendship, a mother-daughter relationship, and it's basically looking at the dynamics that two people have um, when they come together. So astrology is just an endless well of information and um, I'm still learning, I'm still a student of it. Um, it's just something that I really enjoy doing and sharing with other people. Hi, my name is Sarah Fleener. I am an intuitive energy healer. I'm a certified uh, master instructor for Goddess Yoga International and I'm also uh, working very hard to spread the medicine of music. I'm a singer-songwriter and uh, that, that element has become a big part of my practice as well. I'm so excited to be a part of this collaboration. It's an honor to uh, be surrounded by so many incredible healers. Um, so that's a little bit about me. So the first question is, what is showing up in our spiritual practices? And I will tell you, I'm really excited to share with you that I am so enthused and so excited and so pumped that so many people feel to be really immersed in their own work. So they're willing to do the work. They're looking and they're asking for more. 
teaching this beautiful class, Spiritual Modalities, right now, I can't give it to them fast enough. And everything that I'm asking them to do, they're doing and they're going out on their own and doing more. So what's showing up for me is people vested and interested in doing the work. Love that. So um, one of the other questions that Jeannie asked was, what are the challenges in my current practice? And I had to think about that one. I think one of the things that I find is most difficult or most challenging with the people and the pets that I work with is that we have a tendency to wait until things are mission critical before we're willing to do something about it. So I don't know if it's a society thing or I don't know if it's uh, we're taught that or if we're just so busy, but I personally am learning from my own spiritual journey that the that the daily care and the daily paying attention to my energy balance and the daily paying attention to issues that come up and if they seem so small they are all a sign of something bigger going on. So a lot of times people will come to healers when things have hit a point of being a lot more difficult to solve because they're much more dramatic and traumatic. So I'm hoping that that can start to shift. Uh, I try to educate my clients and um, just people in general about the importance of just sort of tuning in to yourself and your body and your thoughts and your emotions. And let's not take action to take care of ourselves when things have gotten really bad and then it's a lot more difficult. Something that's been showing up within my spiritual practice as well as with my clients is an underlying theme of desiring more support, allowing ourselves and giving ourselves permission to ask for the support that we need and desire, and also connecting with sacred sisterhood. So those deeper conversations, that deeper sense of just connection with other women in a tribe or in in community, allowing ourselves to grow, heal, and rise together, and really bonding deeper with those in our spiritual community, knowing that we're never alone and that we have others available to receive support and guidance from, and also connect deeper within ourselves through these divine soulful connections with others. So the second question is, what's coming up in my practice a lot? And that is that people are not trusting in the universe and trusting at the place that they're in in their lives right at that moment. It's so hard sometimes to really just be in the moment and um, really practice knowing that where you are is exactly where you're supposed to be in that moment. That everything you're going through is leading you to your end all purpose. And while we're in that space, while we're in that moment, we really have to um, soak up and accept everything that is happening. Just know that it's all for the better good and that in the end it's going to make your path more purposeful for everyone else in line with you. Um, what's showing up in my practice most prominently are people's discontent. They're wondering what is going on in this world right now. There's a lot of feelings of anxiety, uh, restlessness. So, you know, my attempt is to assist them in learning about who they are um, as a spiritual being and getting them out of their heads and opening their hearts, um, accepting responsibility for this journey. So Jamie asked the question, what is the common theme of what is showing up in my spiritual practice? And I would say there's a great desire and need that people are wanting to really expand. Expand themselves, expand their consciousness, expand their understanding, 
and expand into coming a greater community with one another. A common theme that shows up in my spiritual practice um, is self-doubt. Um, it's something I've struggled with my whole life and it's something I even struggle with when it comes to my spiritual practice um, and even when it comes to astrology and um, it's something that isn't just going to magically go away. It's something that I will probably have to struggle with, you know, the rest of my life. It's just self-doubt. It's something, it's hard to conquer. You know, of course I have those moments, a uh, voice in the back of your head that's saying, you know, you could do better or you're wrong or, um, you know, just things like that. The ego gets in the way. So a common theme that's showing up in my spiritual practice uh, is the same common theme that's been showing up the whole time. It's all about worthiness. Uh, you know, and the belief system that we have that, that governs our ability to co-create and use the law of attraction. Uh, our world is as big as we make it. And um, it seems that it goes deeper than just worthiness, you know, because worthiness in itself is a journey. Uh, so it seems to be that the common theme right now is not only about believing that you're worthy, and honoring the gifts that you have, but kind of understanding your place and, and how to use those gifts and, and how to tap into that newfound worthiness and really allow it to transform your life. So that's the big theme that's coming up for me right now and for my clients, because there's never a lesson that comes to my clients that isn't also meant for me. So, you know, it's, it's a bonus. That's one of the magical bonuses of, of allowing yourself to step into a healer position is that you get healed too. To heal is to be healed.